Hi everyone and welcome back again. So in this new tutorial, we are going to work on this enemy AI. We are going to add this enemy. Then we will add a C sharp script to control it. As you can see, he's moving up and down. And we are going to create this blink animation to make it a little bit cooler. In the next videos, we are going to add more obstacles and more enemies. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified with my videos. And let's jump right into it. So the easiest way to add an enemy and move it up and down is to create an animation by changing the Y position. But I don't recommend that. So the best way is to create a C sharp script in which you could specify some settings. For example, you could change the range of the enemy, the speed and so on. Then we can move it using transform.translate. First of all, I want to make a little bit of explanation. We are going to add our enemy, which is this square. It's called mace. Then we are going to move it up and down by changing the Y position. So we are going to move our enemy using the vector2.up, which is the Y position. In fact, we have a built-in function, which is transform.translate that allows you to translate the enemy along the y-axis but we need to check if he reaches a certain point then we need to change the direction and to do that we need to add the starting y position so if the enemy is under the starting y position we need to change the direction to move upward and if he reaches a certain range so we are going to add a range variable so when the y position of the enemy is greater than the starting y position plus the range we need to give it back to this direction. So it's very simple. Let's go ahead and apply this logic. Let's go back into Unity. I'm going to add the enemy. So under this folder, we have uh, some enemies. I'm going to use the PNG file. Basically, we have this mace. Just drag in the mace under the hierarchy. Then let's create a C-sharp script to move this enemy up and down. Under the scripts folder, let's right click create C sharp script and let's call it mace then let's attach the script to our enemy and let's open it up in Visual Studio so first of all we are going to add few variables like the speed of the enemy the range and the starting Y position as I said so that we can check if he reaches the limits and to do that let's use public float and let's start with the speed variable and let's set it to 0.8 also we need the range of the enemy using public so that we can adjust it from the inspector float and let's call it range for example 3 also we need to save the starting y position using float and let's call it starting y you notice that I didn't add the public keyword so this is actually a private variable we don't need to see this under the inspector we just need to initialize it under the start function using starting y equals the current y position of the enemy using transform that's the transform of the enemy dot position dot y then under the update method or let's use the fixed update so in order to move objects make sure to use the fixed update method normally we use the update method for taking inputs and things like that but if you want to move uh, something or the enemy in this case, make sure to use the fixed update to make the game smoother using transform dot translate. So we have here this built in function. We need to give it the uh, direction. We are going to move it up and down using vector two dot up. And let's multiply it by the speed and by the time dot fixed delta time to make the frame rate independent. But that's going to move our enemy upward so we need to move it downward as well and to do that we need to specify some kind of direction so let's go up here and declare private or we just need to write the type which is an int and let's call it direction so i'm gonna give it the default value one then let's use this direction to move our enemy now we need to check if the enemy reaches the limits we need to reverse the direction by multiplying it by minus 1 and to do that let's add an if statement 
so if the transform dot position dot y so if the y position of the enemy is less than the starting y position or if he reaches the range using or transform dot position dot y if it's greater than the starting y position plus the range in that case we need to change the direction using direction times equals minus 1 so if the direction is 1 it's gonna be minus 1 and if it's actually minus 1 it will return back to 1 again so let's save our script and let's check if it works and now you could change some parameters from here like the speed or the range of the enemy I think I'm gonna change the range to 2 and let's hit the play and there you go we've created a simple enemy patrol AI in unity so I think it's a little bit slow we could change the speed from here like 1.3 or maybe 1.5 I think that's okay you could change the range of the enemy as well and finally I want to create a blinking animation so we want this enemy to blink that's a little bit uh, better and to do that under the enemies folder we have these two images basically we are going to create an animation that contains these images so instead of dragging these under the hierarchy we can create an animation using the animation window so let's go to window animation then animation and let's create an animation select the enemy and let's hit create I'm gonna put it under an enemies folder and let's call it blink then let's hit save and under here we are going to add the keyframes which gonna be these sprites so first of all let's add this one at the first keyframe then let's go to the frame 20 and let's use this one then at the frame 40 let's change it to this one again now if we hit play you see we have this blinking animation we could also change the speed so let's close this window and to do that we need to open up the animator controller which is under this animator component and it's created by default when we've created the blink animation so just double click on it we have our blink animation we can select it and from here we could change the speed like 0.3 and yeah now our enemy looks better with the blinking animation but as you can see we can't collide with it we are going to add the box collider or some kind of collider to this enemy so select the enemy then under here let's add a collider component and they want to add a box collider so we have here this box collider 2d you could also go to the scene view and see the green edges you could also adjust the size of the box collider using this icon then move these points to change the shape a bit I think that's okay so in the next videos we are going to check for collisions so if the player hits the enemy then we need to display some kind of game over screen so we are going to add that later on so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that bell icon and I will see you in the next one